What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Legion's Whey Plus Protein. <laughs> I am a Legion affiliate, full disclosure, but I'm gonna tell you what I actually think about the products. So anytime you see a product review from Legion and you see my face, just know that I'm gonna tell you the truth, the, the whole truth, because there are some products that I don't actually like and there are some flavors that are disgusting. There are some flavors that I really love though. So I'll tell you the, the full truth. I'll go through why you should take them, when you should take them, how you should take them, and which ones you need and which ones you really don't need. So let's get into it. Whey Plus, I would recommend for anyone. Anyone who has fitness goals, and if you're trying to lose weight, gain weight, build muscle, if you're just looking to eat healthier, it's really a practical way to get in your protein. And there's no excuse not to hit your protein goals if you have a supplement like this. You can fold it up, keep it in your desk, you can put it in your bag, in your gym bag, it's really convenient, really easy to store. So I don't think that there's anybody that I wouldn't recommend it to other than maybe if you're vegan and in which case Legion has a vegan protein powder. So you can go ahead and try that. I've tried it. I'm not vegan. I hate vegan products and vegan protein powders. I hate all of them, but Legion admittedly has one of the best ones I've tried. Is it good? No, it is not good, but <laughs> I, 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 I finished it. So it's not disgusting. It's not so disgusting that I, I couldn't finish it and I had to throw it away. I just personally don't like the taste of pea protein and I think it, it tastes like glue and it's like powdery and it just, it's not good. So that's the only reason why I didn't like it. If you're a fan or you just don't mind pea protein and like plant-based proteins, then you'll like it. And it actually mixes very well. A lot of the vegan proteins don't and they are really gritty. And I don't know why I'm reviewing the vegan protein in this video because it's not what it's about. Anyway, vegans, go buy the vegan protein powder. This is for the non-vegans. So if you're vegetarian or gluten-free though, Whey Plus is vegetarian and gluten-free friendly. All of the flavors are good. I don't think I've ran into a flavor of Whey Plus that I don't like. I do prefer, actually I don't prefer fruit flavors, but this one is strawberry banana and the only fruit flavor that I actually like, not just of Legion, but of any flavor. I, I'm generally, I try to stay away from the fruit flavors because they're artificial tasting and they just are not good. This one is really good. It, it tastes like if you've had strawberry banana yogurt, that's what it tastes like. So I'll put half a scoop in yogurt and it mixes very well in yogurt, even though there's no liquid. I'll throw two scoops in water and I'll shoot it down before I go out for the night. So on weekends, if I'm going to a bar or I'm going to a restaurant, wh wherever I'm going, it doesn't really matter. I'll just throw it in the shaker, down it in 10 sec less than 10 seconds really. And uh, it mixes super well and it's really practical and easy. It keeps me from overeating at the restaurant and it keeps me fuller for longer so that I don't feel the need to eat after the bar also, because that's a problem if you're trying to stay in a calorie, in a calorie deficit. You want to hit your protein goals, but you also don't want to eat so much that you eat yourself out of a calorie deficit. So that's something that you should be aware of if you're someone who likes to go out and you're going to music festivals or traveling. This is super convenient and there's no reason not to put this in your suitcase if you're traveling. It'll save you money. It's packed with protein. There's 25 grams per scoop and the scoop is not huge. Let me show you. I, like I said, have two of these when I go out. So I have a total of 50 grams of protein, which is a little more than two, it's about two chicken breasts, maybe a little under two, De depends on the size of the chicken breast, I guess. But this is the scoop, pretty average, normal scoop. I'll have two of those and uh, you're good to go. So it is grass-fed whey, if you guys are wondering. Hormone and antibiotic-free cows, they're free range, so if you're into that kind of thing. The vegans have already left by now, but vegetarians, if you're watching, the animals are, are treated fairly, so that's, that's a good plus. It's also manufactured in a US facility that's met the highest standards for safety and quality control. Each serving gives you 25 grams of protein, and that's protein isolate, which is 90% protein meaning that it's low in carbs, fats, and calories. And whey isolate is also easier to digest and quicker to digest, which is exactly what you want after a workout. Another thing that I like is that it's not too sweet. A lot of the protein powders that I've tried in the past have been super sweet or they taste weird because they have weird flavorings and weird sweeteners. And Legion uses natural sweeteners, which are stevia and erythritol. So it's not overly sweet and you don't have a bunch of artificial sweeteners, which are not bad at all, but some people have a little bit of digestion issues with them. So you don't have to worry about that with this product. I normally try to not go over two scoops a day. I personally can go three to four even, but some people have digestive issues when they go over two. So I would suggest sticking to two scoops a day, no more than that, but if you have to go over, it's not that big of a deal. And you can see personally, if you don't have trouble with more than two scoops, then I don't see any problem with that. 
but you should also try to get most of your protein from whole foods. Now, this is something that I feel like we should all know by now, but I feel the need to still say it. Taking protein powder does not mean that you're gonna grow muscles out of nowhere. You still have to work out and you have to tear those muscle fibers and put in the effort at the gym or else you're not going to gain muscle, no matter how much protein powder you take. Now, if you're actually working hard in the gym and you take a protein supplement, are you gonna grow more muscle? Probably not. But is it gonna help you on your muscle building journey? Yes, definitely. And like I said before, you should try and get most of your proteins from whole foods, but whether you get them from whole foods or protein supplement, it's the same type of protein, so it doesn't really matter. But supplements are meant to supplement your diet and not be your diet. I've never had a problem with this product. I've never had digestion issues. There are no flavors that I don't like, but my favorites are strawberry banana, cinnamon cereal, peanut butter chocolate, and birthday cake. There are three flavors though that I wanna mention. I don't dislike them, but they're not my favorite. So honey cereal, banana bread, and apple pie. I think honey cereal would be good in like cookies, for example, something that just needs to be sweet and not have an actual taste, or like a, some type of protein bread or something. I don't really like the apple pie by itself, like in water, but I think it could be good in a smoothie or it would be really good in, in oats, like for example, protein oats. I think the same for banana bread. It is on the sweeter side. If you do just have it with water, try to put a lot of water in it because it is probably the sweetest one that Legion has. It has a good taste though. Those three are the ones that I wanna flag, but I don't dislike them. You're gonna be completely fine any flavor that you take. I think this is a great product. I would rate it eight out of 10. And if you want to get a little discount, you can use my code Adam at checkout. And if this review was helpful, please leave me a comment, like it, share it, whatever you want to do. Make sure to also go follow me on Instagram and TikTok at fitadam, and I will see you guys next time.